Uh, your apples are yellow. I don't know why. I don't know if they're ripe or what. Milk is in a bag. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm with someone that I met about a year ago when I was down in Florida. He's a true Floridian. Is that how you say it, Adam? Yeah. A Floridian? Yeah. He's a true Floridian. He's never seen this much snow in his life, and uh, he's going to do a little plowing here. So, Adam, say hi, to, uh, say hi to everyone on the internet. Hey, is this normal? Yeah. I'll tell you right now, this is, does not seem normal. <laughs> That's 100% normal. <laughs> uh, so, where are you from in Florida? Uh, South Florida, uh, Fort Myers. And what do you do there? It's about 30 minutes from the Everglades. I got a landscaping company um, and uh, we kind of do mostly lawn maintenance and landscaping and uh, occasional tree work. And how do you know me? Um, I don't know. How did we meet? <laughs> I think I just messaged you out of the blue like I do every I think so, yeah. yeah so, no, but yeah, yeah, you came to Florida and I met you over there. And that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was, it worked out nice. Hasn't snowed in uh, like a couple weeks so we don't have any really good spots. So this is what we got to work with what we got. So it's just, we only got about an inch or two. Um, so you just do a little winter on here in this open area. So we got the single cab with the short iron. He's probably not gonna use that yet since he's never never seen snow or plowed snow in his life. I've so, seen uh, snow like five or six times. Where? I've never plowed. Where? Uh, the Appalachian Mountains in Colorado. What, a decade ago? Yeah, but uh, the last time I seen snow like this accumulation, I was too young. So this yeah. is a pretty decent accumulation. I know you've been pretty excited making snowmans, making uh, snow angels. He's been pretty pretty excited. Lift up. Yeah, our springs are uh, our springs are a little bit loose, so don't don't worry about it if it trips down. That scares the crap out. It's, it's supposed to do that. I'm not paying for this if I break it. <laughs> So, so you left a little bit there? Yeah. You left a little bit right all there. Little so you, you want to make sure you turn it all the way to the right and then make sure that you don't bite off more than two because then you got to go back and clean up all the little pilly stuff. Oh, you have to clean that up? Yeah. Did yeah. I scrape it too much? See how I got the grass? No, that's fine. You don't got to worry about the grass. The ground's frozen. It's not like grass, it's just weeds. <laughs> See right here how you're leaving these little booger trails? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> you can't see, so you gotta. You get, it takes a long time to get the. Get, get used to it. Yeah, yeah. To tell how much you can bite off without leaving booger trails like this. See this trail right here? Yeah. Now you gotta come back and clean these up. It's gotta be 100% clear. Okay. So as soon as you as soon as you start getting close to the pile, gradually start lifting up. Because you, you don't want to hit the pile all the way down because then it can just trip. So you wanna start getting close, start bumping it up. What do you mean? Like because all these piles are as hard as a rock. So when you're pushed in, oh, 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 okay. When you're pushed into the pile, don't That's hit it all the way down. Start going up so you can kind of push up. Oh, stack okay. her up. There you go. That's perfect. Just like that. So, uh, so you being from Florida, this is your first time ever first time ever like this far north isn't it uh yes sir so what uh what's uh what's different like how's how's minnesota like what's culture wise people wise like what have you seen so far being i would here? ask me later in the week i would edit this out <laughs> no, but, i would but, ask but me but right now you got a first impression what's your first impression you've been in town you got we got in it's he, he made me sit around at the airport for two hours so i got him that was about 12 hours ago about one this morning so you've been here about 12 hours what's your what's your first impression of minnesota um, it's not that bad temperature wise right now but apparently armageddon's coming apparently this ain't nothing uh, and uh, the people are not really that nice. Minnesota nice isn't a thing? No, it's not a thing. Sorry, guys. And <laughs> uh, 
uh, and uh, your apples are yellow. I don't know why. I don't know if they're ripe or what. Um, and then uh, milk is in a bag. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but uh, And then um, the food's been really good, but I'm pretty sure I'm just hungry. And um, let me see. Oh, all your vehicles are absolutely trash. Like, well, why are they trash? Epic proportions. Like, I'm sorry. Just the rust is terrible. Like, y'all can't keep your stuff clean. Which I understand why, but dang, dude, that sucks because talk about depreciation and getting like uh, rust and stuff like if y'all brought any of this stuff like that trailer would be like a salvage title <laughs> that's Three a brand new trailer dude that thing dude, total that, that, that look thing. at the rust on the frame dude that trailer, that trailer i bought the trailer brand new this spring it's been pulled in the winter like twice like i want to get the hang of like pushing up in like the pile said. Yeah, yeah just start lifting up slow as you come into it right, let me so like it. so you've never been behind uh uh the steel wheel of a plow truck have you ever no Never have, you ever, been. have you ever seen a plow up close to you before this? No, time? this is the first time. So oh. just like drop it. You hold so, it till it drops, right? Yep. So as soon as you hold it, and that red light comes on. Then uh, then you're in float, and then and you start going up to the pile, and then as soon as you start close, start lifting up slowly. There you go. So all these piles are as hard as the rocks. Like when they're not hard, you can kind of push them around a little bit. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. But now they're so hard that it, uh, like it's, it's a little bit, a little bit it takes. A little Luckily, bit. I got like a decent amount of experience on like a bob guy and stuff. So it's all the same. Anything hydraulic is just getting used to this and how it reacts. Right. Like if I got used to how the like the little what'd you call those string piles? What'd you call those? String piles, booger trails. Booger trails. That's <laughs> not the professional yeah, term. Yeah, it is. What else would you call it? Uh. Miss okay. snow. Uh, I would say a leak. A leak? A snow leak? <laughs> or like a, uh, oh look, am I getting stuck? No, you're in four wheel. Oh, I am? You're good. So, uh, like, how old are you and what do you do? Like, you have one guy, two guys, ten guys, what do you do? Uh, yeah, like I said, we just do lawn maintenance, landscaping, it's nothing guys. crazy. Um, yeah, right now we got a couple people and, uh, and, uh, yeah, it works out. And, uh, 20, about to turn 21 actually in a couple weeks. And, uh, it's just so violent. I can't get over that. <laughs> do you uh, do you enjoy what you do nine days out of ten? Or not really. It's kind of a drag. <laughs> Who's this? Who is this for? I don't want to demoralize <laughs> these people that are like, I love this business. Uh, no, well, no. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. No, I honestly like, might have moved up north now. I'll tell you, you should. what. Hey, I, um, uh, like, like, what's your honest opinion on? Like, everyone, everyone has a different opinion, a different point of view. Like, what's your? I mean, I don't want to be like a negative Nelly, Nelly for no, the video. I, I don't stuff. want you to be there. I just want like your honest opinion on it. <sighs> It's just, it's, in Florida it sucks, and to be honest with you, it's just too many cheap contractors that ruin it all for us. Oh, man. Uh, like too many cheap contractors. Um, that, that make that, a lot that of guys lower the whole the industry. Yeah, yeah, it lowers the whole industry for all of us, and it's just hard to make money when you have all this money going down the road, um, and the customers can kind of be a pain sometimes. You just have to have really tough skin, and uh, I don't know if I have that tough skin, but I mean, Hey, it's better than a desk job, and it's better that you're still control over your own destiny a little bit, and uh, you know, rather than working for someone else. But is it like the end all game? I mean, I don't know. Is it the key to happiness? I don't know. I just think just do what you love. Cause here I am, being able to be here on vacation for a whole week, and uh, that's really nice. And I wouldn't be able to do that if I worked for someone else. Um, so I appreciate that, and, and I'm gonna be able to do it a lot in the next coming years. Um, if I could just get through like the summers and there's just times that are really crappy, you know, Yeah. but, but overall it's pretty good. Yeah. Dude, I want to find more areas to plow. This is so much right. fun. All right. Let's go find some more snow. Lots more to come from this guy. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And remember, in order to get results that no one else is getting, you must do things that no one else is doing.